in this video we are going to discuss block diagram reduction rules so why block diagram reduction is required means so for example any control system is given in terms of block diagram as i already told you block diagram is the pictorial representation of each and every component in control engineering or control system so if any control system is given in block diagram model so that means indication of all components in blocks and signal flow and summing point and branch points like that so if you are asked to find out what is the transfer function of the system generally you know what is the transfer function of the system output transform by input transform so if you are having small block diagram then that is very easy to find out the overall transfer function of the system but whenever you are having so many number of blocks so you can't estimate the transfer fun function or any other uh, problems on that block diagram perfectly that's why we need to reduce the block diagram reducing of block diagram is better because we can reduce the complexity of the structure or we can find out the transfer function easily we can find out gain easily so for this all these purposes we are going to reduce our block diagram but we need to follow some rules these are some important rules that we must follow when we are reducing the block diagram so this is the first rule combining the blocks in cascade when you saw two blocks in block diagram no need to consider the two blocks as individual blocks you can combine like this so that means your block diagram you can combine your series blocks like this g1 into g2 you can multiply gain of each block and you can make that as a single block so as you are having a here so that is multiplied and uh, the output is a into g1 into g2 here also so here you are having a signal a that is tending to a block with gain g1 so after passing through that first block so the value from the this block output is equal to a g1 this a g1 now pass it to g2 and is multiplied with this block gain so totally this block output is equal to a g1 g2 if you consider block like this also you are getting the same output our intention is to get the same output by taking individual block or combined block you need to get the same output if you are getting same output by taking the single block what is the need to take two blocks so that's why we can reduce this two individual blocks by combining the two blocks with multiplication if the blocks you, if you are observing the blocks in series then you can combine by using multiplication you can make them as a single block by using multiplication of gains coming to combining parallel blocks so here when you are combining parallel blocks you need to observe here when we can say blocks are in parallel when blocks are like this with a summing point blocks are like this these two blocks are said to be in parallel so how we can combine that blocks means so here i can combine that blocks by using addition whatever the parallel blocks are there that parallel blocks we can combine by using addition addition means so just by adding the gains g1 and g2 you are going to get the same output you can see here here you given with a for this block also you given with a so this block output is a g2 and this block output is a g1 so this a g1 and a g2 are combined so these are going to form a g1 plus a g2 for example same input signal a is giving here the output is a into g1 plus g2 so that is equal to a g1 plus a g2 only you are getting the same output 
if you are getting the same output with the single block no need to take these two blocks in parallel with branching point this summing point so this is the reason why why we require combining combining of blocks with a single block we can do here so now moving the branch point ahead of the block moving the branch point or moving the summing point ahead and before of the block will add a block into that path if you are moving your branch point or summing point in next two points we are moving summing point before and ahead of the block so in that two cases also so we are going to add extra block in that moving path so you can see here you can observe moving the branch point ahead of the block that means so this is before the block if you want to move this block ahead of this block one then you need to add a block here in this path whatever the path is moving in that path you need to add a block so like this so here you can see the equivalent is so here you are having a block like this so here you given a so here a g here you are having a branch point if you want to move this branch point ahead of the block then you need to consider 1 by g as your block again you need to add an extra block in that moving path whatever the path we are moving this branching point we are moving this is the branching point this point we are moving to here if you are moving that branching point you need to add an extra block with gain reverse to the actual gain so here you can see so this is a in this branching point you need to get a so this is actual path ag so in the actual path you got ag so in this path you need to get a so here this is ag same ag you will get here so ag into 1 by g you are getting a so same a through the branching point you are getting this is the reason why i am taking this reverse gain as we are moving that branching point to ahead of the block that block effect is there which is not actually there after moving we are having that effect of the block to reduce the effect of the block i am using reverse gain in that path as a block so i want to modify my block diagram like this so the general path gain is ag here also ag the branching point value is a here also i got a so is there any case to move branching point ahead of the block you can move like this similarly moving the branch point before the block for example if you are having your branch point like this and if you need to done the reverse procedure if you want to do the reverse procedure that means if you want to move your branching point before the block how we can do so here as i told you when you are moving any branch point before and after the blocks you need to add an extra block in that moving path so here in the moving path i added reverse of that gain reverse of this actual gain so here when you were moving ahead to before so here you need to add a block in this path with the same gain so you can see here so for example if you want to move this branch point to before the block then so here i am taking this block g and here i am actually having branch point but i want to move this branch point to here so i need to multiply this path gain here i need to multiply the reverse path gain inverse of path gain so here i need to multiply the actual path gain here so now for example if you are having a here 
through this also actual path also you are having ag and through branch path also you are having ag here also you need to get this same so here in the actual path you are having ag and this path also you are having ag so outputs are same outputs must be same after reducing the after changing the black diagram also your inputs and outputs must be same so this this one of the important rule moving ahead and before the block moving the branch point ahead and before the block and similar to the moving summing point ahead of the block so here we need to move this summing point ahead of this block how we can move so again same rule when you are moving any summing point or branch point ahead or before the block you need to add an extra block in that moving path so in that moving path we need to add an extra path extra block so like this so here this can be modified as so g so you need to consider gain g and you need to consider so you can see here this a plus b so the summing point output is a plus b this a plus b signal after passing through this block that is equivalent to a g plus a b so here also here also so this is b g so this is a g plus b g here and here also after summing so that is equivalent to b g plus a g so like this we can move any summing point ahead of the block so here when you are moving branch point ahead of the block you are going to get 1 by g but here you are going to get g when you are moving summing point ahead of the block you need to add the block with g here if you moved ahead of the block you need to add extra block in that moving point as with reverse gain so here similarly we are having moving the branch point before the block like that moving summing point before the block so if you want to move this branch point before the block what we need to do so here if you want to move so here you can see this is ag plus b so the output is ag plus b you need to get the same output ag plus b so if you move this summing point here that b is also entering to this block so that block effect will be there on that b to reduce that effect i am going to multiply 1 by g in that b path so you can see clearly how i can modify this block diagram means so what i need to do i need to move my point i need to move my point before the block and after this i need to get the gain here i need to give a and here i need to give with 1 by g why because previously b is not going to enter through this block when i move this summing point to here through the summing point after that summing point you are having block so that b needs to enter into the block which is actually not there so to reduce the effect of that this block on b so i am taking 1 by g here whenever you require negotiation of effect of a block on a signal you need to consider inverse of that gain so here this is b now by summing these two so this is equivalent to a plus b by g so after multiplying these two i am going to get same thing a g plus b the output is a g plus b only here so you are getting the same output so now interchanging the summing point we can interchange the summing points also for example 
if your summing points are like this if if you are having two summing points that is like this a b or summed here so a plus b the output is a plus b this a plus b is subtracted with c that means so a plus b minus c will be the output of these two summing points we can interchange the summing points that means we can put this summing point here and we can put this summing point here so like this so if you are having the same structure with interchanged summing points that will be like this so same a you can give here c you can give here and after that you can give your b here you can give this b here so mention arrow marks so that is better it will shows the flow of the signal so here also the flow will be like this if i forgotten to mention the arrow marks also you need to consider the arrow marks so now here the result is from here a minus c by adding a minus c with b you are going to get the same a plus b minus c you are going to get the same and now coming to splitting summing points and combining summing points you are having summing point like this with a b and c the output is a plus b minus c if you want to move this if you want to change this or if you want to split this into two summing points you can split so that means you can split like this so if you want to split so then you can split like this so this is a and this is b after this you can take another summing point and you can subtract your c up to here this is equivalent to a plus b so here a plus b minus c you can subtract like this splitting summing points you can split your summing points like this or if you want to combine so you can combine like this vice versa so you can split and combine like this if you are having summing points like this you can combine like this so here elimination of feedback loop so how we can eliminate the feedback loop so if you are having any feedback loop then we can eliminate that feedback loop with feedback gain this is negative feedback you know the negative feedback system negative feedback gain you know the gain of negative feedback system what is c of s by r of s we already derived in the initial classes of control systems itself what is the transfer function of that negative feedback loop so here we can modify this by using a single block transfer function g by 1 plus g h this is negative feedback gain so this is r and this is c so if you observe any negative feedback with g as open loop gain and h as feedback path gain and we can make it as a single block by reducing that feedback loop as g by 1 plus g h this g by 1 plus g h we already derived as transfer function of negative feedback so if this is positive feedback that means if you are having plus here then we can name this as g by 1 minus g h like this we can reduce the diagram so that means so if you are having any feedback loops so like this you can reduce the diagram so these are the block diagram reduction rules that we need to follow when you, you are reducing any bulk block diagram in control system